Fans of the 2009 thriller Orphan have been anxiously waiting for the next film in the horror franchise. Actress Isabel Furman reprises her role as the violent psycho orphan Esther in the upcoming prequel Orphan First Kill. And actress Julia Stiles plays Trisha Albright, a wealthy mother conned into thinking Esther is her long lost daughter. The film is out August 19th. Julia Stiles, Isabel Furman, join me right now. Rosanna Scotto, I, I this, you're like a hometown hero. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> Julia, you're so sweet. Thank you. So nice to meet you. I know you were a New Yorker too, a native New Yorker. How are things by you? Good, good. Yes. Uh, so nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you too. Isabel, tell me what it's like revisiting this character 13 years later. Oh my gosh. I mean, at first it was like immense excitement and then a little bit of, of pressure that I was putting on myself. But I was really fortunate that uh, Brent believed in me and thought that, you know, we could totally make this work. And I had the help of two incredible young actresses, um, Kennedy and Sadie, who were my body doubles every single day. And we really got to dive into Esther in a whole new way, I think, in this movie, where instead of seeing her as just this villain, we got to kind of create this anti-hero slash villain and you got to really kind of humanize Esther a little bit and have a little bit more fun with her because now the audience is in on the secret this yeah. time around. I was wondering how you did that because I mean you do play Esther this is a prequel Orphans is a prequel um, and there's no special effects. No, no. And, and that was really tricky. And honestly, that was, like I said, Brent, our director, and Kareem, our uh, director of photography, they really, really did such an incredible job and did so much work behind the scenes to make that happen. And, and even everyone from wardrobe and everything, fitting my dresses in such a way that they still fit me um, in a way that they would fit a child. I mean, wrapping me every single day in like tape so that way I didn't have any curves or any sort of like figure. Um, Julia, Rossif, Matthew, everyone who had scenes with me, I mean, Julia especially, had to wear these massive platform boots that we, uh, we called like Gene Simmons shoes. They were so tall and had like leather fringe because you didn't see them, so it didn't really matter what they looked like. And so there were a lot of tricks that we did behind the scenes to make me look like a child. And, and, and it was both like physical and emotional at the same time. But I think we did such an amazing job. Julia, what intrigued you with this role? Um, I don't really watch horror movies because I'm the wimp, but I, uh, <laughs> I knew about the first one. And then uh, when they sent me the script, I, it was a page turner and I got to the twist and I was like, oh, wow, that's good. Um, and that's what kind of hooked me. But I think the fun thing for the audience this time is, like Isabel said, we're in on the secret. So we know that Lena is pretending to be Esther. She's a grown woman pretending to be a young girl. And we, we kind of play with the idea of like, how much longer is she going to get away with this? Because when she's brought into my character's family Trisha is is um Trisha's like huh there's something off here there's something wrong about this situation and I can't quite put my finger on it um and she's the kind of woman that will pr protect her family at all costs and so to see how far Esther can push her you kind of wonder what she's going to do with that let's take a little look at orphan first kill Esther's behavior has been so erratic Hello, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. I know, Mommy. I did notice some inconsistencies. <laughs> what are you getting at? To me, it felt like a performance. If you're not Esther, who are you? I had so much... Um love and appreciation for this movie because it really was the first movie that I did that started my career. And to get to be a part of the creative process behind the scenes of the movie, not just acting in it, I felt like I had so much more agency this time around to really play and really bring uh, so many different layers to Esther that I didn't the first time. Julia, I, I feel like, do you think your fans are gonna be okay with you being in a thriller? Um. I mean, I hope so. I hope that they're okay with it. I think that they, I think, I think they, they will be, but I, um, it's so hard for me to talk about this character because I don't want to give anything away, but I hope that they, um, I, I hope they delight in it. I think, I think, uh, we had a lot of fun making it. I had a lot of fun playing this part and I hope that resonates through the screen. Can we talk about that twist? I know that you're reluctant to like give too much away. 
Well, I will say we were just talking about this. I will say that um, it's not really a spoiler to say that 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 my character eventually figures out what's going on with Esther, and I think what what she chooses to do with that is is very interesting. That's the, that was the the fun part for me. Okay. Do you think that you will be haunted when you come back to New York after making this movie? I'm in New York right now. No, oh, I'm not. I'm easy breezy. I'm easy breezy. I, um, <laughs> I, I, I uh, look away from the rats on the subway and look towards the sunshine. <laughs> I was I was googling you last night, and everything that c keeps coming up. Of course, this thriller. Uh, but ten things I love about you. I hate about you. Ten things I hate about you. From 1999. I mean. Everybody's doing reboots. Anything would it be considered? Could it possibly happen? I mean, I guess they'd be out of high school now. I would hope that Kat is a little bit calmer or happier out of high school. I think she would be. Um, so I know for a fact that I could not do what Isabel did, Isabel recreating her role in Orphan. As, as a grown-up, I don't think I could recreate my high school self. I don't really want to go back there. <laughs> yeah, all of us don't really kind of want to go back to high school. Well, anyway, can't wait to see Orphan. Congratulations, Julia. Congratulations, Isabel. So nice to talk with you. Thank you nice so to nice to you talk too. to you. We appreciate it. Orphan First Kill is in theaters and streaming on Paramount Plus after August 19th.